Anderson family. Now, look, Junior, don't be carrying all that money around with you on your calls. Oh, gee, Pop, there's only $150. He hasn't lost any of it yet, Oliver. That's not the point. You can't tell what might happen to a kid if anyone knew he had all that money. But I know everyone in town, Pop, and I need it for change. Look, do I have to get a habeas corpus or a delecti to get anyone to agree with me around here? Don't raise your voice, Oliver. Oh. Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. <laughs> Now let's visit the Anderson family. Now let's visit the Anderson family. Well, this whole thing started when Junior was appointed the treasurer for the Gargoyle Boys Club. They have a drive on for a new club room and are selling tickets to some football games coming up and his club gets half of the money collected. Junior's done very well and collected over $150. Oliver doesn't want him to carry the money around with him, so he's trying to get Mary and Junior to see his point of view. Now, look, Junior, $150 is a lot of money, even for a man to carry around. But I have to make change, Pop. You don't have to change any $100 bills in this neighborhood. Or someone's not on the level. He's done very well so far, Oliver. Why do you try to discourage him? Mary, I'm not trying to discourage him at all. I don't want anything to happen to him, nor the money. You're afraid he'll be held up? Well, not necessarily. But how do we know what might happen to him when he's carrying that money? Despite what you say, Mary, I still say that some of our neighbors are not above it. You're just making a mountain out of a mole, mm, young Oliver. I... It's Junior's money. Okay, then you two figure it out so you both are satisfied, and I'll check out. Oh, Oliver, you aren't half as worried as you act. Gee, I can run, Pop. I could call for help if I needed it. Yeah, you'd call just as loud if you had only $20 on you, couldn't you? Yeah, I suppose so. But I go right from collecting to the Gargoyle Club. I have to come way home first to get the money. Well, it's better to come way home and have it, isn't it? What would you suggest, darling? I'd suggest that he have someone come over here this evening and pick it up and leave a receipt for it. Look, How's darling, that? suppose you go on to work now. Hmm. I'm sure Junior and I will work out some arrangement. Okay, just as you say, I'm through worrying. Whatever happens to that money or Junior is on your shoulders. It always has been, darling. Now go on and don't worry. Don't worry? <laughs> of course not. And don't come around later, weeping on my shoulder and asking what we're going to do. What's we going to do? Gee, you're sure taking it hard, Pop. Just being sensible is all. And you'll stop worrying? I guess so. You know, it gets kind of monotonous being outvoted on everything around here. Oh, now look here, Miss Crunch. There are not two Z's in scissors. You'll have to do this letter over again. Gee. That's funny. Is it? Because I never have to write scissors, and I just took it for granted that there were two of a minute. Well, after this, when you're not sure, look it up. Why do you think Tupps, Torrance, and Thompson spent 85 cents for a dictionary? Gee, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Anderson. Really, I am, because I want you to believe me. I'm not the type who says they're sorry and don't mean it. All right, all right, all right, you're sorry. I'm not giving you an argument on that, am I? Now, go ahead and get that letter written again, and don't leave smudge marks on it. Wherever did you type it? In a foundry? Gee, is something wrong at home, Mr. Anderson? Hmm, wrong at home? What do you mean? Oh, oh, nothing, except you're kind of upset this morning. No more than usual. Why did you say that? Oh, oh, nothing. Only you've been drawing ropes and nooses, daggers, guns and things on your sca scratch pad here. Oh, oh, that. Well, I was just making a phone call. Did you ever hear of doodling? How does it go? How does it go? Isn't that awful? Never mind. Get the letter written. Oh, yes, sir. Right away. Oh, by the way, did you see this piece in the paper this morning about that poor newsboy? Newsboy? No, I haven't seen the paper. There it is, right on the front page. Hmm. Imagine a kid being beaten half to death by two big men just to take a dollar away from him. Oh, well, there's always certain people who don't want to work for money. Uh, huh? You say they beat him up? Something awful. Come and in, hid him see. in a closet. But the police found him, and they're hunting for the thugs now. I hope they catch him and put him in jail for life. Hmm. Beat him up, huh? Gee, the kid isn't safe. I knew you'd want to read it, because well. you have a kid about his age, too. Now you know what his mother went through. Hmm. Mother, huh? Uh, go ahead, get that letter typed. I can read. Yes, sir. Right away, Mr. Anderson. Happy Chiders, newsboy, was kidnapped and severely beaten by two thugs last night while on his way home. 
They obtained a dollar from him and... Oh! Yes, Mary Anderson speaking. Mary, this is Oliver. How is everything? Why, everything is just fine. Why? Oh, 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 nothing. I just didn't have much to do, so I thought I'd give you a ring. Well, I'm flattered, darling. Um, let me speak to Junior, huh? Junior? Yeah. Well, he's not here right now, Oliver. He isn't? Mm -mm. Well, it's almost dark. Yes, I know, dear. Uh, d does he have the money with him? Not all of it. Uh, he just took $50. He was going to collect another 100 He's working so hard, Oliver. How long's he been gone? Mm, uh, oh, come now. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm not nervous nor worried. But is there anything peculiar about a father wanting to know where his son is? Oh, of course not, dear. Well, Junior was going to phone me and tell me everything was all right. Yeah, what, what time's he going to phone? At 6.30. 6.30? Well, it's ten minutes to seven. It is? Yeah. My, how the time flies. Oh, well, thanks. I'll slip on my coat and go see if I can find him. Now, don't worry, dear. Don't worry. Don't worry. Listen, they beat a newsboy half to death this morning for a dollar, and Junior's carrying over a hundred. Now, you stay right home till I get there. I'll grab a cab and be there in five minutes. Mary. Mary, is Junior home yet? No, Oliver, he isn't. Now, you have me worried. Well, I should think you would be. Did you read this thing in the paper this morning about the newsboy? Oh, yes, I did. But that was downtown. Downtown? What difference does it make what part of the city it is? Well... Downtown, she says. What shall we do? Call the police? Well, if I can't locate him by myself, we'll call him. Now, now, wait a minute. We have to be calm about this. Yes. Come on, settle down. Now, let's reason it out. Uh, reason yes, it out. let's be calm, dear. Well, now, whoever did it knew he was carrying the money. Did what? Oh, quiet, quiet, quiet. Now. Who knew he had the money? Well, the boys in the club knew it. Well, they could have told their parents. Now, who do we know that needs money? Everyone, including us. Oh, I mean badly enough to, well, take it away from a kid. I'm sure. I don't know, dear. Well, where's the rest of his money? Well, it's, it's right here in this jar. Here, Why? Well, let me have it. I'll carry it with me. I'm not going to leave this money lying around the house while I'm gone. Well, where are you going, Oliver? I am going to eliminate the suspects as I go. I'll start off with people who'd be likely to know he had that money. And my first stop is Homer Meister. Well, well, Bus McGallus is if it ain't Oliver. Come on in, come on in. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Meister. But my visit isn't a pleasant one. Oh, it ain't, eh? Well, no. Just sit down. Go ahead, sit down. Mm -hmm. Now, look here, Homer. Yeah? Can you change a 20 for me? 20, uh, what? $20 dollar bill. Yeah, yes, I guess you can. Mm -hmm. Fine. Here you are. Oh, me. What's the matter? Always have trouble getting my wallet out. I got one of them big horse blanket pins, you know. I tucked through my pocket so as into them horse, them pickpocket fellers can't get it. Mm. Yeah, Marthy was trying to undo it for me one time. Oh. <laughs> Stuck her finger on the point. Never <laughs> mind that, never Boy, mind she that. Holler. Yeah. Meister? Yeah? I'm surprised you had changed for a 20. I thought things were slow with you. Well, off and on the B. Mm. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, uh, change for 20. Yep, that mm. Meister? Huh? Where'd you get that roll of bills? Hmm? Shame. Marthy don't know I got them. <laughs> hey, there you are. Ten and two fives. But uh, let's have that 20. Come on. There you are. Yep. Meister, how much do you have in there? Well, what's it to you? It's a lot to me. Yesterday you had 35 cents. Today you have a roll and Marthy doesn't know about it. Oh, now, wait a minute, Oliver Anderson. I'm not waiting. Wait a minute. You think I stole it? Just answer my question. Where did you get it? Well, now, that ain't none of your business, Oliver Anderson. Well, I'm making it my business. Okay, then you get out of here as fast as you can Look. get, because I don't stand for no such talk, not from now, nobody. Wait a, wait a minute. No. I'll ask you one question. Did you see Junior this evening? Junior? Yeah. Uh, well, it seems as though it did. Well, come on, talk. Uh, yeah, yeah, I walked a short way with him. He turned into Chapman's house, and, and I went right on about my business. Into yeah. Chapman's house, huh? Yeah, yeah. Did you see him come out? Nope, 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 I didn't. Hmm. Uh, well, because he didn't stay around there long. Okay. Don't leave town, Meister, because I may want to talk further with you. No, no, I won't leave town. Hey, wait a minute. Say, what the tarnation's wrong? Why would I leave town? <laughs> Now, look, 
look, Mary, you go around to the Gargoyle Club and ask everyone if they've seen him. Mm -hmm. Homer saw Junior going into Chapman's house, so I'll get down there. Oh, but, Oliver, please don't raise any fuss with Chapman. You know his terrible temper. His temper doesn't worry me. If he's guilty, he'll get his due, believe me. Why don't you just go in the house and sit down until I come back from the Gargoyle Mary. Club? If he isn't there, then you can do something about it. And waste time? Why, it's dark already. Well, it's only 7.30, Oliver. Yeah, that's how thugs get away with their crimes. My people wait until the trail is cold. Now, you go on in. I'll meet you back here in ten minutes. Oh, it's Anderson. Yeah. What can I do for you? Chapman, I'd like to step in a minute. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of busy right now. Never mind that. What do you want? I just want to come in. Okay, if you insist, come on in. You, uh... Huh. Haven't seen Junior around, have you? Junior? Yeah. Why, no, not in the last half hour. Oh, you saw him before that, though. Uh, sure, yeah. Say, what is this, anyway? Is he here now? Now, wait a minute. Look here, Anderson. I said I saw him half an hour ago. I know you did. Uh, Chapman, I noticed Junior's bike out in front of your house. Oh, you did, huh? So what? Well, if he'd left here, he'd have taken it with him. Now, look here, Anderson. I'm a patient man, oh. see? But this is getting under my skin. <laughs> if you got something to say, say it and get out. Yeah, what's this thing here? here that happens crate. to be a washing machine. Oh. A surprise for the little woman. Uh-huh. I thought you were broke day before yesterday when you borrowed that ten from me. I was, I was, but I picked up some dough today. Hmm. You mind if I look around your place? Oh, now you want to look around my place. Mm -hmm. Maybe you think I got some dough hidden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, look, if you do, pal, I'll look with you and we'll split it. That's not funny, Chapman. Just answer one question. Is Junior in this house or out in your woodshed? Oh, so you think I'm holding you, kid. I'm now. not thinking... I want to know for sure. Now, if you're innocent, you'll have nothing to hide. Oh, so that's the way the wind is blowing, huh? Hmm. Now, let me get this straight. You think I'm keeping Junior here against his will? His bike's out in front. My feet are in my shoes, too, but I ain't walking, am now, I? don't evade that question. You were broke two days ago, and now you come up with a new washing machine so right here. So I come up with a washing machine. What does that make me? I'll tell you. Chapman... My son is missing, and he had over a hundred dollars on him. Oh, oh, well, now, now I'm beginning to see what you're driving oh, at. Oh, are you? You're thinking I took that dough from your kid? Well, his bike's out in front. And you're standing in my own house accusing me of arson. Not arson. Arson is burning. Yeah, yeah, you're right, brother, and I am burning. Oh. Excuse me just a second. I'll open the door for you. Ah, getting tough won't clear you, Chapman. Are you or are you not guilty? Uh, out the door Quit with you. pushing me. No, cut it out, Here I'll... you go. Such knife. I'm humiliated, Anderson. Uh, and when I'm humiliated, I'm hard to oh, handle. Oh, are you? Well, you're trying to choke me. I'm adding murder to it. I... Uh, oh, go on, go on. Get down him steps before I lay you out cold. And take your kid's bike with you. And now back to the Anderson. Junior has been missing for an hour now and had $100 on him when he disappeared. Oliver has questioned Mr. Meister next door and also Mr. Chapman, who didn't like to be quizzed. And Oliver is now back home, and Mary is telling what she found out at the Gargoyle Boys Club. I saw several of the boys, Oliver, and the last any of them saw of Junior was when he went up that long lane to that old house in the woods. Who, uh, who lives there? No one seems to know. Man isn't very friendly. Okay. I'll make that one more trip. Then we'll go to the police. You're not going alone. I'll get Homer. He'll be glad to clear himself. Clear himself? Oliver, you didn't accuse Homer of anything. Of course not. But did you know that he has over $200 in his wallet? Explain that. Well, that must be the 200 <laughs> Briggs paid him for that cement work. That's pretty weak. Unless Homer pulled that double-time gag on Briggs, he could never earn that much. Well, I'm not going to stand here and talk about it. Let's do something. I will. I'll get Homer and drop in on this bird who never goes out much and is unfriendly. <laughs> Uh, uh, now, now, look, Oliver, I ain't left town. I know it. Let me in. Not in that attitude, I won't. Mm. I have my reputation to look after. I'm on a peaceful mission, Homer. Well, let's keep it that way. Come on in. All right. Now, uh, look, Homer, you have a shotgun, huh? Yep, yep. A revolver, too. 32. Which is best? 
Well, for a long shot or a crowd, I get best results with a shotgun. I see. Yep. But for a quiet little set to with just uh, one person, I prefer the revolver. Well, I don't know what we're going to run into. We? Yeah. Uh, did you say we? That's right. I ain't running into nothing. Now, wait a minute. Junior's still gone. And the last time he was seen, he was going up the lane into that old house up there. Nope, nope. It ain't, ain't right for me to interfere. But Junior's in there, maybe. Nope, nope. Marthy, would never stand oh, for it. Marthy. But, but, but I can loan you the gun. I don't want it. I don't know how to work it. Well, then then your best bet is to pick up the chief. Mm, he, he, he's got a right to shoot him. Hmm. Yeah. And I'll have to tell Junior he was all wrong about you, then. Eh? What's that? Junior's always bragging about how brave you are. How yeah. you always explain to him that you know no fear. How you whipped three pool ball touts in one afternoon. Ha. Oh, he does, eh? Uh, oh, now oh, I have to go tell him you're uh, yellow. Uh, you're afraid of your own shadow. To let him down. No, uh, you ain't telling him no such thing. Well, it's the truth. Oh, it is, huh? Yeah. Well, taint. Huh. I'm a strapping on my holster and I'm a showing you. Holster. Uh, I can slap leather with the best of them. <laughs> Lead me to this den of, uh, uh, this dive of, uh, <laughs> Well, let's uh, get going, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, couldn't we do this tomorrow in the in the daytime? We huh? Do it tonight and now. Yeah. Now look, Homer, you take the back door. See, see that no one leaves by that way, and I'll take the front here. Yep. And, and if anyone crashes through the back door, I'll blast them first and and ask questions later. No, 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 don't no? do that. It may be me coming out. Well, well, you can depend on my end being carried out. Well, that's fine. Now yep. you got the gun. You yep. know how to use it. Yep. If I holler, Homer, I need help. And you get in there as fast as you can. Hey, I'll come a shooting, don't, Oliver. Don't, don't come shooting. Don't no. shoot till I tell you. Oh, now, no. now, are you all set out here? Yep, got the back door all covered, Oliver. Well, you better look at your gun again and have everything set. Yep, yep. Well, Oliver, shake hands. Shake we hands. may never come through this, but we've done our duty as we've seen it. Oh, now, let's not get dramatic. Oh, I ain't. I mean it, so help me. Well, now, now go on. Go on in front. Okay, Homer. Uh, how do you feel? Oh, that feels well. Uh, Keep feeling that way, and be alert. I'd feel a darn sight safer if I had some bullets in this here gun. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. My name is Oliver Anderson. Oh, yes, I've heard of you. I'm Dr. Mayhem. Won't you come in, please? Uh, uh, No, I... Just stopped in to ask if you'd seen my son. Mm-hmm. Your son? Yeah. Please step in. Why? I do not like to talk in the doorway. Well, okay, but no funny stuff. I do not understand your attitude, Mr. Anderson. Uh, come in the study. Well? Sit down, won't you? No, no thanks. I'll stand. Now, Dr. Mayhem, as I said before, I'm looking for my son, and he was seen to come in here. Son? Oh. Yeah. You must mean a boy called Junior. That's the boy. He's my son. I would never have known it. He was such a polite little fellow. Well, that's neither here nor there. He he hasn't come home yet, and he was carrying a large sum of money. Yes, I'm interested. Please go on. Well, I'm hunting for him. Is he uh, here? My dear fellow, you can see he isn't here. He's not in this room, no. Where does that door lead to there? That door? Yeah. Why, that is my den. Would you like to look? Well, see, I I have nothing to conceal. What's behind that big glass case with the curtain drawn? It's really nothing. Would you like to look further? I want to see what's behind that curtain. Very well. But you won't like it, my friend. Well, <gasps> a skeleton. Yes, that's Siegfried. Siegfried, huh? Not a very pleasing personality. Look, Mayhem, I've seen all I want to see. Now you show me the rest of the house and be fast about it. Very well. Shall we go? What are you doing here, anyhow? Where are you from? I am afraid this is no concern of yours, Mr. Anderson. Well, we'll see. But I will tell you, I do a bit of government work. I thought so. What government? You're being impertinent, Mr. Anderson, and I well... don't like it. Would you leave my home, please? I won't leave till I'm sure Junior isn't here. What's in that room there? That is none of your business. Now, please go. I'll not leave till I look in that room. Mr. Anderson, you do not retire this moment. 
I shall be forced to use this. Uh, oh, a gun? Yes, my friend, a oh, gun. Pull on that stuff. And I'll not hesitate to use it unless you leave this moment. I'm not going, though, till I look into that room. I'm afraid you will, my friend. I've been very considerate of your feelings, Mr. Anderson. Hmm. But now I must protect my home. Well, that's a phony phrase. Something you can lean on in case you want to do away with someone. <laughs> One step toward that door, Anderson, and I'll... I warned you. Stop where you are. Who's that? Please be seated in that chair till I see. Homer! Oh, Homer! Quiet, please. Till I see who this is. Homer! Is my father here, Dr. Lamb? Oh, but of course. May we speak to him? Please come in. Mary, stay out of here! For heaven's sakes, what's wrong now? Mary, you shouldn't have come here. We've been looking all over for you, Pop. Junior! I thought something had happened to you. Junior, where did you come from? From a conference of the Ways and Means Committee, Pop. Uh, Your father was worried about you. Uh, Yes, I I can imagine he worried you, too. I'll admit he did, Mrs. Anderson. But he's distraught, and I made allowances for that. Did Uh you show Pop the skeleton, Dr. Mayhem? (laughs) Yes. He has met Siegfried. Well, doggone it, Mayhem, I, I... I don't know what to say. I guess I kind of made a fool of myself here. <laughs> <laughs> it's very understandable, my friend. Mm. Please do not give it another thought. You know something? I'd, I'd still like to see what's behind that door. Mayor. Very well. Now that you're in charge of your senses once more, I will tell you. Mm-hmm. I do photography for a hobby, and that is my dark room. Oh, oh, I see. Had <laughs> anyone opened that door to the light, I would have destroyed many of my precious negatives. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to take a oh. picture of me, Pop. Sure. Yes, this is true. I'm taking the picture of the whole Gargoyle Boys Club in their new edition. Oh, well. I think that's wonderful. Well. When Oliver... Huh? I think you owe Dr. Mayhem an apology. No, well. no, I would not think of it. Please, now. The episode is closed. Oh, you understand you want... how upset we were. Sure. You understand full well, my dear lady. Well, I uh, guess we better go then. Uh, and let uh, Mr. Mayhem recover here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's been delightful having you to drop in. Please to come again, all of you. Oh, oh thank thanks, you. Uh... We'd love to. Huh? Good night, Dr. Mayhem. Good night, Sonny. And you come see us sometime. And bring Siegfried. I told the kids about it. <laughs> uh, I'll be very unpopular, I'm afraid, if I were to do that. Good night, Oliver. Good night, uh, Mayhem. Oliver, well, I've never been so humiliated in my life. Neither have I. Let's get Homer and go on home. Where is he? That's what I'm wondering. He was going to come in shooting if I called, but he didn't. Look, Oliver. Huh? There he is. Oh, yeah, sitting on the back porch. Gee, Pop, he's asleep. He is? That's a fine thing. I could have been blown to bits and he'd have never known it. We should wake him up. He'll catch his death of cold. Hey, Homer. Oh, Homer, oh. wake up. Oh, oh, wake up, there. Oh, oh, oh. Turn oh, on, hey, wake up. Hey, what? what's that? Stand back or I'll bless you. Now, hold on. I'll fill you so full of holes. Wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. Hey, slap leather, partner. Slap leather, nothing. Wake up there. You ain't dry gulching me. Get me back there. Homer. Oliver. Get a hold of yourself, Homer. Uh, Oh, hold me. Yeah. Oh. Look around. See where you are. You, 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 you don't know how close you come to getting blasted. Oh. You'd have had to do it in your sleep. Come get up, Homer. Mark uh, will be worried about you. Well, I, I showed him, didn't I, Sonny? I ain't afraid of no human being. Oh, that gee. Remi- huh? You're wonderful, Mr. Meister. What were you going to say? Well, it reminded me of Never one Never mind. Time. It'll be a long story. Tell it to him some other time. Yeah, well, gee, you're wonderful out here alone in the dark. Well, I've been in the dark a good many times, and I was just doing it for you, son. I remember one time when I was back in North Platte for one me? night. Yeah, never mind, Ob, never yeah. mind. Look, let's get Homer out of here, and I'll take it up further with you, young man. Well, I think you'd better scoot to bed, Junior. Just one minute. Now, look, why didn't you call us or something instead of making me run around the neighborhood? I did call twice, Pop. Uh Even called Mr. Meister, but no one answered. We had a talk with the architect. No doubt he did try to call Oliver. If we'd been home where we should have been, we'd have received his call. Oh, see. Well, how much did you collect? Two hundred and eight dollars. Here's a hundred and eight of it. Well, where's the rest? You didn't lose it, did you? Well, it's in that jar there where Mom put it. I gave it to you, Oliver, when you asked for it, remember? You gave it to me? Mm-hmm, I did. Uh, well, you didn't want to leave it in the house, remember? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's funny. It's not here. Pop! God, Gee, you it? didn't lose it, did you? Oh, of course not. I didn't well, lose then it. then where is it? Now, don't get excited. 
Wait a minute. You don't seem to have hey, it. Come I... on. Uh, gee, Pop, I have to turn it in. I just have now, to. Now, don't worry. You will. Of course. Your father will give you a small check for it. It's really nothing if he lost Now, it. that's no way to act, Mary. Now, get it, Oliver. Sit still. Yes, Homer? Oh, uh, Oliver left his coat over at my place. Here it is. I was just getting undressed and thought I'd bring it back well, before I went to bed. thank you, Homer. Thank yeah. you. Well, i, I got to get back. Uh, uh, Marthy's uh, watching out for me. Well, uh, good, good night. Good night, Homer. Who that, Homer? What do you want? You brought your coat. Oh, yeah, my coat. <gasps> Had money in it. Oh, If geez. that Homer's taking that money, oh, I'll... Oh, calm down. Here it is in the inside pocket. Oh, you were just hoping it wouldn't be there. Why, what? Oliver, I was hoping no such thing. Well, you inferred... Uh-oh, uh -oh, here we go again, folks. The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Others in the cast were Jenny Johnson, Doug Young, and Paul Theodore. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood broadcaster's production transcribed from Hollywood.